Dude, I I I can't have croissants anymore. Like the I remember I remember the reason why I don't like them. Why? They make me so my they make my stomach hurt so bad. Are you saying Chris Hands? Croissant. Croissants. Croissants. Chris Hansen I need back. Can't be real. We though? need Chris Hansen more than ever because now we just have Vitaly going around beat, beating people up. And I'm like, all right, yeah, they deserve it. But also, like, this, this is such weird content to it's watch. Weird. You feel like bad it makes for me feel, them. I don't want to feel bad for, yeah, for them. Like, why are you slapping people? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it just makes me feel, I'm like, I don't, don't stop hitting people. I would slap a PDF. Yeah, yeah but, but the like, thing is, the thing, it's weird. It, it, it's like, where, listen, I would too, but to watch somebody go and actively do that makes me feel. It makes it we, feel. It's just it such makes, a. It makes, it makes feel you feel less weird of the crime. I have that a they question because I'm focusing on wow, this guy's hitting this other guy, not like oh, this guy did something atrocious do you or is about to do something atrocious. Do you mind if I go look at your camera? Why? Because that light is so harsh on your face. I I I tested it. Go ahead. Yeah. Like, go ahead. I just want to be sure. Pop You're good. But I don't like I don't like watching people like just go actively hurt somebody else. I th no, but right. the but the ramification but the parameters of it are like. I feel bad for like a second and then I'm like, I, they deserve it. You I'm, know, it's just weird content to be like, yeah, I want to watch PDFs get beaten up. No, I'm glad you have a heart. Thank you. Me personally, I haven't consumed that content. But it just comes up. Well, even then, even then I like skip it. I'm like, whatever, fuck it. It's like very prevalent on X. Like X feeds yeah. me that content. X keeps <gasps> feeding me really What's You your, can't say that. What's your for you Bleep page? What's your for you page on X? Mine is very... <laughs> My X for you page is Please Twitter. I mean, my my X for you page Why? is what? He's trying to censor me. What? What'd you say? So mine is very. Be yeah, cold bleep that open. out. It's a cold open. Bleep that bleep out. out. When did the co cold open start? It, we, that's when the it, whole point of a cold, cold open is cold open. keep cold. this in because the, explaining the cold open is actually very important for it's her. a cold open. A cold <laughs> open is you know once once the cameras are recording, whatever's recorded, that's the cold open. Uh, but we're past 30 seconds though so if i said okay so what what's a tiktok censorship for pineapple or those swingers those are swingers those swingers let's i think that... let's start let's start all right <laughs> that's a great we'll way to start we'll welcome in her babies to another episode of the eight raps podcast this Nerdy week we're it. talking about why tiktok banned uh a creator by the name of dan henschel God. yeah the Capri's intro to Dan Henschel does not do him justice. You do it. Yeah, you do it. Dan Henschel is literally one of my favorite content creators ever. Um, I've seen his content around, but lately I've had like such a hyper focus, like hyper fixation on him for some reason. It's just like his videos are so fucking stupid. It makes me like it. It make, brings brings me joy. Can you, explain, you know what I mean? What, what is video? Explain it. Can you pull up my outline? Yeah. <laughs> 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 imagine, well, being, imagine being such a fan that Frogan's like, What's his videos like? Frogan's like, bring still, up his outline. I'm still, I'm still stuck on what my my X for you page is. So while you're pulling that up, I'm just gonna kind of. It's honestly, it's just streamer Twitter, and I don't like it. <gasps> I don't like it. I, I really don't. I love, I love my streamers. I hate streamer Twitter. Honestly, I hate here's it. Here's my thing. What can I say instead of like? Well, now you can say it. Yeah, mine is just so horny and like kinky shit. I'm just like, I don't. Okay, I do. That, that's you. You're clicking on that. I cl I click you on it. Click on you it. are the one clicking. I on do that. click yeah, on it because click on every single one though. You literally click on them all. That's why they feed it to you. They're like, I wow, she on, really <laughs> likes this. I click on sensational stuff like people getting in fights. I'm like, I don't want to click on this, but I am clicking on it. No, I mean, I click on it because sometimes I share it with, like with friends because I'm, I'm like, okay, this is the, the most fucked up horny well, thing. Stop sharing it. Yeah, the, why do you, you sharing it? I'm sorry, it, you're sharing your personal. I like, think you sharing it is giving it more of an algorithm you're boost. You're sharing then. your personal like sex things with friends? Yeah. Is that like a thing? Okay. It, it's, not, well, it's not personal. It's not personal sex things. I'm just like showing them what like, Twitter well, is feeding name, me. Name something that happened on Twitter. No, 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 no. Off the dome. Off, Off the, the dome. dome. Off the dome. Off the dome. Okay, so. I saw one the other day of a girl holding a guy's pee pee while he was peeing. I, That's intense. <laughs> I haven't seen anything like that on that Twitter. <laughs> I thought she I was. Have, I thought she was going to say something along the lines of the like. The closest thing I saw was a meme of like a woman holding a tree branch that was out, and then it like they like did a, did a smash cut, and it was Groot looking down at this girl. Yeah, no. That's the closest no, I've I thought ever it was gonna to be that. like one of those things where it's like a water fountain, and it's like I should call him. Yeah, you know. And then she's like, "No, I no, just no, no." It's like somebody actually grabbing somebody's <laughs> penis. Yeah, that. and they're like goals. And they're like what goals? 
Goals? Yeah. What do you mean? What do you mean they're goals? Your couple no, goals. Hold on. Hold on. No, your what's the couple, goal? Appa- that, appa- it's couple goals. A- a- no, appa- some people. Oh, somebody says like couple goals? What do yeah. you say some people? Some people. Oh. No, I'm asking Frogan directly. Okay. A couple goal for you is to hold a dude's pee-pee while, while he's peeing. peeing. I never really thought about it. <laughs> Is it what, a goal? But she's not denying it. Oh, you're not saying I'm, no. She's not denying I'm it. Not not say, saying I'm not no. saying no, but I'm not saying yes. That's insane. Wait, I, what do you mean you're not saying no, but you're not saying yes? Because so I don't know. I never thought that, about that it. That means you're in the middle of it. You have thought about it. You fucking said that to someone else. Because Wait, hold I was, on. Because I was like, this is insane. Wait, let's take a se- let's take a step back here. You said you're you're unsure <laughs> of whether or not you would hold a man's <laughs> pee- believe that while he's peeing. 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 If wait. My- if my partner was you in- said, I'm not going to say I'm not saying no, but I'm not saying yes. That's a yes. If my partner was into something like that, I would consider it. You would consider holding <laughs> another dude's pee pee while he's urinating. I've, I've never held a pee. I've while never held peeing anyone's pee peeing while they're pee peeing. But I feel like that's more of an action. Most of the time, it's you, soft. It would just be mush and well, wet. She, it's because that she doesn't have a pee pee. So she's like, I really want to know what it is. So feels I like. wouldn't know. It, it'd be like, I'm sure. Why would you hold it? I, I got a question for you. Would you stand behind it. him and hold him and be like, this is like, I'm it. doing hold it? On, I'm just, I'm, Honey, I don't hold I'm it. I de- let that shit hang. I'm defensing. Would you ever want a uh, VJ? To pee, I don't know. I don't want to get that <laughs> to pee with. Like, would you ever just want to look down and say, "I'm gonna pee one time with this to see what it's like"? You don't sit and pee, dude. I do sit and pee, but dude, that's the same not, shit. It's not the same. It is the same. It just comes I, out I, a little I, higher hold up. Hold on, hold on. You've never thought in your head, "I just want to do it one. I want to have sex one time with." Bleep that. What does that have to do with our conversation that we're having because right now? Because it's the same thing. She's like looking. She's like, she's no, got, she's not. It's not the she's same got thing. Curiosity with a is different than holding a man's. When he's peeing, it's not the same thing. What's Are you a, peeing in a? Well, be, would you have a for one day? Yeah, of course. There you go. I'd have a. And for every, I'd have a. Wait, I'm a this is the, that's not the, the argument. That's not the I'd wake up as a woman for twenty four hours. But that's not the point of what's going on. The, streets. the thing is, I've never peed with a pee pee before. That's what she wants. Okay. It's not like it's not like a well. Okay. I guess. You it is because you're like I don't know what my man is into. That means it's a sexual thing. That means it's a sexual thing. I don't think it's a sex thing. I think it's a curiosity. This thing. is insane to me. Yeah, it's a cur- like out of curiosity. I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to sit on my girlfriend's lap when she's peeing just to see what that sensation feels like. <laughs> but you get to sit down and pee anyways. Yeah, you could. Sit yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, I so that's what, why would I want to do I that? Don't have the you op- could stand up and pee, but I can't. I don't have the you option to hold do? anything. What you, you can cups. literally get one of those things <laughs> that acts like a strap on. <laughs> Keep it. it. Rock paper scissors. Okay. <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Okay, keep it. <laughs> keep it in. <laughs> keep it's it in. Get bleed. Keep it in. Keep it in. I won that. I won that one. Uh, but you can get like a, a, a thingy, like a little, like a str- that thing. Okay. At, with an attachable to then urinate from. That's too much effort. I don't want to do all it's that. It's also too much effort to find a man who is, first of all, willing to let you hold him when he's pee peeing. Pee-peeing. And then convince pee-peeing. him to let you hold it while he's pee peeing. Then time it out. It's way more effort to do that than it is to grab. The thing, is, the thing is, it's not a desire of mine. But you said it's not a yes or a no, so it's not. It's still in your brain as a maybe. But it's not a desire. And then another one that came up. It's like she, she wants to deflect. Too She's deflecting. I mean, the one I'm about to say is where it's like a. Okay. Li- <laughs> A lady's there was like, I wish somebody could match my freak, the freak I want to be matched. And it's a lady in a garbage can getting fucked in the garbage can. Was that from you, the Sims? No. Oh, in the Sims? Mm-hmm. Wicked Whims. That's my for you page. Stop watching prawn on Twitter. Stop it. I don't. Yeah, go to Reddit like a normal human being. Yeah, <laughs> sick freak. Reddit. Reddit's like a great place for that. It's great. A lot of people like Reddit. But make sure you go in anonymous browsing because then it fucks. It kind of fucks up your. I mean, I have never had a Reddit account. Really? Yeah, I made one. I for just a- made one because they made they made a they made a a, a raf Reddit page for me. Who? <laughs> who made a raf Reddit page? When you say they, who do you mean? Uh, I think is viewers in, one of the view, one of my viewers made a raf Reddit. Yeah, I was like, dude, give me a give me a Reddit page. Just get make me one, and they did. I want a Reddit page. 
Okay. To make Wait, one. why don't we have an Arabs Reddit page? Because who's going to run it? We, we I'm not going to run it. Yeah, I'm not running it either. Run it. Someone run it. Whoever's the first one to it, comment down below. We're the first ones to run the Arabs account Reddit And then, page. you know, help us make uh, Arabs Reddit. But yeah, whenever I see shit like that on my free page, I send it because I, I think it's funny. Okay. But so wait, what's your Twitter then? What's my Twitter? Yeah, what's the, like your for you? Uh, never mind. I know Dude, what it is. Mine's all politics. I know. I know what it mine's is. All boring. Politics. Mine's all politics of Palestine. Mine's my, my Twitter's so boring. But like, I don't even like mine's going all on Who's would you rather honest. have? Out of the two of you, mm -hmm. neither. If you had delete the I'm app. Sorry. If, if you had to choose one gun to your head, delete the app. I, would you rather see uh would you rather see someone holding a pee pee or uh Donald <laughs> Trump and Elon Musk tweets? This is so hard because I really don't want either of those. The Donald what? Trump one. Thank you. Because you I, can, I don't want to see somebody holding somebody's pee, pee Because you can. Oh shit! What the fuck? Because you can open that shit up in public and nobody's gonna say anything. Like, okay, that's just that guy's just conservative. Yeah. You know, this one is like, oh, that girl has mental health issues. Yeah. But it's not me though. I've never had that thought. What? I don't know. I don't think you're in my mind. <laughs> no, you you were judging me. I was judging you, but nothing came, nothing specifically. No. I was judging you on. I was trying to think like, what's my angle on the judgment here? Yeah, I went through a twelve step process in my brain. So, just so now. what are you judging me for? I was. I heard what you said, and then I was like, I feel judgmental. And then my next step was, why do I feel judgmental? I have a secret. And then hold on, I'm not done. And then my fourth step after that was like, do I really feel judgmental, or do I just not have anything to say? And then it was a process of all that while I was staring at. So you. are you judging me? No, I've decided I'm not. Not for what you just said, but I am judging you for liking people holding penises for LAP. I, I didn't like it. You sent it out. You sent it out. You yeah, shared it. I shared it because Some of that I, stuff needs to get shut down and you shared it with the world. I shared it. You're I like WikiLeaks. I didn't share no, oh my, penis okay, pulling. I will say if Twitter likes ever go public again, I'm fucking deleting my account. Why? Because her whole page is just sex and it's just her. It's not. It's, it's, just it's, her. Not, it's, not, it's not. It's not sex. Okay. It, it's like if if they ever go public again, I'm just fucking deleting my account. I can't go back to June and. Can I be honest? Yeah. I've had a girlfriend hold my pee pee when I pee peed. <laughs> no, you haven't. Yes, I have. No, you've never had a yes, girlfriend. I yes, I have. No, you haven't. Yes, I have. But it was a psychotic episode. It wasn't like a. It, it wasn't, wasn't like a psychotic a, episode. It was. They were like, ha! They were like, you know, they were trying to. <laughs> Are you lying? I'm not lying. You're lying. I'm not lying. You're so lying. You, so, you, so you sat here letting me get ripped apart. <laughs> You're not lying, dude. <laughs> I mean, you are lying. I know that women have that thought, Raph. You're, you're. This is why. This is why you're not in the mind of a woman. You do not in the mind There's of a, a woman. There's a disconnect here that you're should not, not fucking be here because I am specifically an articulate, uh, very articulate. You are having a thought process like, oh, she wants to know how to pee. That's not the thought. This is a sexual it, thing. It could be it's not a, it's it, not a, what, it, what could it, it be could like? Be if it was a sexual thing, I'd say I'd want to get peed on, which peed I don't. On. No, it's that's not the, No, because then you would just say you want to get peed on. That's not what I'm saying. Do you, do you have peepee -pee curiosity? No. no, not pee pee on you. Pee pee like you, the whole pee pee to see what it's feel. Would you have a penis for twenty four hours? Anybody would. Yeah. There Here's you go. The thing, and the first answer, the first I, answer I, for anybody getting comment down opposite below. Genitals, if you agree with me. The first thing you do is jack off. Yeah, that's what you do. There's a process to that. No, it wouldn't happen immediately. I would. I would really. First, you would have to get aroused, and then if you had a pee pee, what would arouse you? <laughs> oh, I was just saying something. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! Oh my god! All right, did you, are we good? another another thing that came. <laughs> we really need to move on to the topic of today. Another thing that came up on my free page the other day was how people get boners. It was like an animatronic video oh, animation. Who's making animatronics to get? Animatronics. What do you mean, like like the, the like like Abraham Lincoln at Disneyland? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was like an animation video. I was like, interesting. Vagina is blood a rushing your RPP. Pee -pee. Yeah, exactly. It just showed the process of it. Okay. <laughs> I can't tell if Rogan is understands that horny Twitter is not the same as anatomy Twitter. We have a lot of people. We want we want you guys if you guys are watching this, comment a bunch of things. Comment <laughs> <laughs> comment, no, never mind. Just comment a lot. Comment your thoughts. Just put like a one. We're gonna cap Put this a out. one in the comments if you are on the same exact Twitter as she is. If I want to see if this is like a normal thing. People will get it. People, I, I swear to God, people will get it. I think I, I liked I, it. Hold on. Here's the deal. Liked what? The boner. 
It's not a real one. We know how it works. We, we know have to how show I'm, it. I've seen. I, I've, lived I've, with, I've lived with it for almost yeah, 29 years. It's not years. that tight, to be honest. You just get used to it. Yeah. If anything, it What's hurts. What's way cooler about it is all the power you get with it. <laughs> the amount of power we get? <laughs> yeah, it's so much Do they, does, the an, does the animation show you how much power we get? By all the money. Dude, the power and the money is... The power and the money is really cool. That's the only privilege I did I have. read a study going back to our prostate conversation yeah. uh, saying that, you know, men should be wanking it every two two or three times a day. I told you. Or a week. No, two to three times a week. A week. To, to avoid prostate cancer. Yeah. Every, oh, two or three, times, two or three times a week every month to alleviate or avoid prostate, prostate cancer you, and i'm just saying i'm good until february of 2025 no dude I'm, i've been good i'm solid until february 2025 how do how does the math compute on that we've already well, had it's a, a, it's a bank like a like a bank we've had a retention episode before we've had a retention episode we've talked about retention on the episode oh yeah we have we've talked about retention the thing is about it there's actually some studies that do help with retention okay i was i was searching this yesterday yeah technically this is crazy. You're going to hear this. Okay. Technically, women can sense how much testosterone you have. They can like smell it on you. Can you t can, is that true? They, they, subconsciously, she can't do it like regular. Anyway, so they can smell it on you. And technically, when you do the thing, it, it, you dip down and then it goes up at a seven day peak. And then at seven days, you hit your peak and then it dips back down and then it goes back to like normal. So, so technically, like if you're, if you're going to go on a date, you know, like, uh, do I do it before the date? You know, do I, do I, do I, do I, you know, like, yeah, that's actually good. Tell me, tell okay, me. Okay. Yeah. Do I empty it? I thought about it. Yeah. This is a shower thought. I Googled all this in the shower. Yeah. And I was like, do you do this before the date? No, because you'll have lower levels and you'll subconsciously be less attractive to the woman. Oh, I can't find the boner. <laughs> <laughs> But, but like two to three days is fine. You don't need to get to the seven day mark. That actually makes a lot of sense. Wait, for us to be attracted to well, also them testosterone or for them to be attracted to us? Them to be attracted to us. And also when you have testosterone, you're more oh. confident. You're more, you know, testosterone's like a. Oh, that explains over. a lot of my dating history. If you yeah. have too much testosterone, you're going to go bald. Well, that's what happened to me. Well, I have accelerated skin cell growth on my forehead. <laughs> okay, so. let's talk about Dan Henschel. Yeah, let's do that. Because we talked about your skin speaking cell growth of, for an hour and a half before, did, the podcast. before the podcast. That's true. Uh, so Dan Henschel went viral with yeah. this. I, I went and did a deep dive on his uh, specific uh, Instagram. And it was really interesting. But uh, he essentially went viral with this one moment where he, he went viral a couple times. But this is the main he moment. He goes viral every fucking day. I know he goes viral every day. But this is the one that I saw. And I think everyone did see. But he is now banned from I being a therapist. Ah! Sorry, I played that way quicker than I was supposed to. He's banned from I hate being a therapist. Ah! All day, all day, I just have to listen to people complain about their stupid problems, and I just want to be like, shut up! Nobody cares. This is the only honest advice you're ever gonna get from a therapist. Get over it. Hey, buddy, you all right? I hate being a therapist. Do you think if I show my therapist this video tomorrow, she'll she cancel on you? No. Then Why'd I you nod yes? Wait, I, my brain died for a second. Did she cancel on you? No, no, no. She didn't. She canceled on no. me like three times like last uh, two weeks ago. Though. Well, happens? she's not canceling tomorrow. Unless, right, so, that's the, so, so that's the main video that went viral? Yeah, that's the thing that kind of like launched him into the public eye. Okay. And then... And that was on TikTok where he posted yeah, yeah. But he got banned off TikTok, right, Frogan? Can and you go to my outline? Does anybody... Who is he? Like, where is he Dan from? Dan Henschel is a satirical comedian. Stand-up comedy. Uh, he posts, he posted skits on social media for years and years and years, but he recently blew up like last year, I want to say with these like side characters he had. So the one that like threw him into fame was his therapist, um, character. And then another one that became popular was his teacher one. Uh, but he has multiple characters. He has a therapist, he has a teacher, he has a preacher, he has target worker, uh, psycho ex boyfriend. Let me show you the teacher. Soldier, one. doctor. Wow. My students are all morons. I give them everything they need to know, and they still fail always. And it's not because I'm a bad teacher. I'm a very good teacher. It's because they're stupid. 
And then the parents ask, why aren't you teaching them good enough? Why didn't you teach them to read? It's your fault your kid's stupid, not mine. My students are all m <laughs> So you post shit like that. And so it's just all in his car? Mm hmm But no, lately- What's going on with his face? I think it like, deep fried it or like, something. Do prosthetic like what what is he, going on like dude, it looks this different. is this is one of the ones that i saw like when i first saw him he he did this this is recent lawyer do, do you want to do, do, do you want to know the lore for this one what's the lore so he w went on a date with somebody yeah and she said that she's going hiking in the woods and she just never responded to him ever again okay. so he went into the woods and went on the trail she said she was hiking at. He reported it to the police and no, the police wouldn't look, at her, look for her. So he went to go try to find her himself. He got attacked by a bear. <laughs> <laughs> and then he posted a video with like the neck brace and bloody bandages and everything. Yeah. Um, she ghosted him. Yeah. It was implied that she ghosted him and he went to go look for her in the trail where she said she was. Um. So then he went on this whole thing where he was Did he injured. Really get attacked by a bear? No. Oh, so it's just it, it's just okay. makeup. The thing about him is like nobody knows what's real. No, mm. I mean it's it's a character. So then he like posted a video recently about how he has like an orb, a clear orb that transfers him within these portals <laughs> of different people. <laughs> yeah. But is he an anamorph dude? Dude, what is he? Scott Scott Bakula? Wait, is it Scott Bakula from a uh, Scott Bakula from a? Uh, well, never mind. <laughs> I don't know, but <laughs> I can't think of it. That one, that no, you one got show, it. that you one got show, it. yeah, the one, the one show where he like every episode he's a different person and he has to like figure out the issue with that person and then he gets transferred back. What's that name of that show? It's an old show. Anyways, I don't watch TV, but with this character basically Sorry, sweetie. is a is a branch off of his cocky go boing boing character. Okay, which is a popular tweet. Uh, and then the whole this deal. Is, with, this yeah. is the one that I saw is at the beach. Where the hose out? Hose at cocky go boing. boing. Cocky want boing boing. Um, and then he got, then the whole thing with that is he got fired from his job at Target. <laughs> so then he uploaded a video on YouTube of him going to Target in his neck brace and everything. And then he posted a tweet. The third tweet. Um. He posted that. Back at work. No way. Yeah. Look look at my comment. Worst customer service I've ever received. We don't deserve you. New Mad Max movie look alike. I don't think you'd realize the things I would do to see him shoot one of these videos in public. Oh, he he put, just put I'm green. Yeah, he put nacho cheese on his face in one of the videos. He just puts nacho cheese. He also makes himself Look like one. What's up with the cameras? This is one I thought was so funny. Scared of car wash. I think with Dan, the reason why people look forward to him uploading is because you don't know what character you're going to get. You don't know what storyline you're in. But the thing is, he was banned from TikTok, but nobody knows why. Yeah, he got banned randomly one day. Nobody knows why. But that's what's crazy about it. It's like, it's all characters. It's all jokes and stuff. But like, he literally got banned. Like, yeah. permanently. Like, you can't upload his footage at all. Like, and nobody knows why he was banned. He was huge on TikTok. Yeah, but I don't understand. Like, it was like 1.8 million followers and then he got banned. Like, how did he get banned? His vibes are atrocious. What do you mean his vibes are atrocious just because he's making character I think, comedy? I think maybe TikTok probably... Um, here's my speculation. Yeah. Uh, I think TikTok probably thought like the satire was like too close to the sun. Mm. With like the therapist and the teacher and like... So anyway, so I did a deep dive on his Instagram because essentially like he... Th these like characters kind of came out of nowhere, obviously. Like he was posting like really like old school Instagram, like photos, like, you know, the, like he was like basically a, like a photographer and just posting like old school, like Instagram photography shit. And then one day post a picture, which is really funny, but super fucked up. But he was like, I'm watching this family from the bushes and it's just a family on the beach. And then after that, he posts a video, which is like his first big video, like in this style, which, which was him talking about his pet rock. 
and he's just like got a, a whole video of like him uh like just playing with a pet rock and that was the first video oh is this one from target here's a target one here's an older target one hey guys this is the employee orientation video for target um I'm just gonna rip right through this stuff because no, I know nobody wants to be here and we want you to get paid to work, not watching videos. So let's just get started. Okay, so diversity and inclusion, who cares? Disability accommodation, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so the uniform, just wear a solid red shirt, solid pants, closed toed shoes. I believe that in the West Hollywood location, so you're allowed to wear tank. You know, one time I wore a red sweatshirt to Target and somebody asked me for help. Really? Yeah. What'd and they I, say? They're like, excuse me, can you tell me with this? I was like, I don't work here. And my mom starts dying laughing. Pretty funny though. I didn't think it was funny. Yeah, this is his first video ever that's like funny. This is my pet rock. Come on, Rocky! Yeah, 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 yeah. My name's Rocky. Hey, get back over here. You can be a little rascal. Yeah. Come on, look who made a little friend! Uh, he hates it when I'm working. I'm working right now, Rocky. <laughs> oh, she's just so cute though. But she loves me. This is my pet rock. He fucked that rock. He's so weird. He made love to that rock. He had sex with that rock for sure. But anyways, that was like his first. And then it just starts devolving into like weird selfies, like the same selfie in 15 different fucking colors. He shaved his eyebrows off recently. Yeah. Did why, he? Yeah, yeah. Why do you shave his eyebrows off? <laughs> what was the lore with that? Why did he shave his eyebrows? I don't off? know. It was with one of the characters. Yeah. When did he go bald? Yeah, he just he, like, just sh he shaved his head. I think his hairline was receding, so he just gave up. Oh, but everyone I saw a tweet the other day. They're like, he should have kept his hair because, like, when he did have hair, like the vibes were awful. Really? Yes. Like they this were like bad. Yes, the, the horrendous the vibes, vibes aren't bad right now. They they were worse. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Video will tell you if you have autism. No. Are you autistic? This video will tell you if you have autism. No. Are you autistic? This video- Fuck, dude, I can't tell if that's a loop or not. It isn't. It was a loop. Dude, you know what? The thing that makes me so mad, no offense to people that watch me out there, is like whenever people think he's being serious. Well, there's other content creators that have like tacked on to him and like responded to his content, yet they have no idea. They think it's serious. You can literally tell it's satire. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing is, I think that the reason why he was banned is that his- uh, when I was looking at it before, his like teacher character was like creepy, which is like probably bannable on TikTok. Like all his characters are creepy, borderline <laughs> offensive. Yeah, no, they a lot of them are offensive. Like his therapist one is pretty bad. The and he's on an arc right now where he just talks about getting canceled. I don't even know why the fuck he. Oh, the cancel video is the one I wanted to watch. That was like what I saw it was like him talking about how he's got canceled. And then basically he's just in the, in the fucking, in the beach. Let's wait for Raffi. We're back. So anyway, so he, uh, he gets canceled and it goes, yippee, I'm canceled. And this is his video. It was like a content drop, man. I, like he didn't upload for 10 days. I was like sweating. I was like, where is this man? But then he uploaded a random fucking video a couple days ago. It was like 40 minutes long about in a fancy soda shop. And he... I lost the plot, like, in it. So, um, I got some news this morning. I heard that, uh, I was canceled. Do you want to know what I said when I found out? Yay. That's when he gets canceled. Because that's the best news I could have possibly gotten for my career. Let me ask you a question. What is the most powerful currency in our society? Think. What is it? Attention. You've already seen it. Raph, what is it? Um, the ability to. The ability to make women hold your pee pee when you, when you pee pee. Okay. Think very carefully before you answer. It's not money. It's not sex. <laughs> it's not even power. It's attention. The attention that you're giving me right now. 
the attention that I've been farming from you idiots for the past three years. Everybody was mad at me on Twitter the other day because of a video that I made screaming in my car. Oh, it's getting pretty old, they said. Um, never seen this one before, they said sarcastically. And every time I would see a tweet like that, ah! Ah! Why is that camera right now? Oh God. Every time I would see, in my head, I'm just Every like, time he's recording this shit in public. I saw a tweet like that. Yeah. So imagine just, like, he went to the beach in public with the hospital gear on and, like, the neck brace and his face painted, like, fucked up in the oxygen. <laughs> <laughs> Is him at, like, imagine, like, you're at the beach with, like, your kid and you just see that. Like, you see a man in a hospital gown just walk into the water. Oh, my God. This video is called, I saw my grandpa pleasing himself. Click it. <laughs> um, let me just say first, there's nothing wrong with the with the with the doing that. I understand that it's perfectly natural. It's just that I was having a really bad week and a terrible day today. I wasn't in, I get, I just wasn't in the, uh, I wasn't in a good mental headspace to, to process that, <laughs> seeing that, um, and I just hope that now every time that I think about my grandmother or I see my grandmother or I talk to my grandmother, that I'm not going to think about it every single time. So he has an insane, insane storyline. I don't know what character it is, but basically, so every year on New Year's Day at midnight, he has a goal where he comes exactly at midnight and saves it, saved it in a jar, and he had a stockpile in his freezer. Um, his sister stole one of the sperm jars and made herself pregnant with his son nephew. That's probably why he got that. Okay. <laughs> Wait, <what>? Okay. <laughs> this no, this is a YouTube one. And then a further discovery was his dad also used to save he saved a jar of sperm to conceive the sister, but it turns out that they actually used one of his sperm jars on accident. So his sister is technically his daughter, which makes his sister's son his grandson nephew son but these are so elaborate in the worst way possible yeah so he killed uh, so they all died okay his family so that he had that's like the murderer arc but everyone's like suspecting they murder he how does murdered. he only have one hundred sixty six thousand? because he's crazy but it's so interesting we, like the thing is with these types of people is like i can't tell like if they're the reason why these characters are like number one they're really funny but the second the second part makes me want to do shit like this. Like, cl click his videos. Click a random, like, read a random title. Like, they're all batshit crazy. Click, yeah, I'm a click. male feminist. Uh, you know, <laughs> it, it cost me my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> Docking my ex day one. <laughs> See, my sister's actually my daughter. That's the one I was just telling you about. This is when he shaved his eyebrows off. Why does anything exist at all? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? What does it mean to exist? So this is where he goes over the story about his family accidentally used his sperm jars. Uh, but despite his YouTube, his Twitter is more popular. Like there's a Dan Henschel deleted tweets account. Yeah. Because... He tweets some bad shit insane stuff. Um, like, like what? Type in Dan Henschel deleted tweets and it'll come up in the search bar. Just type in deleted. Don't put tweets. And then, yeah, right there. The first okay. account. Okay, I'll look at it right now. 
Okay, so 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 why is he why is he why was he banned off TikTok? Nobody knows. Nobody knows nobody why. Knows. No, nobody knows why. When what's the timeline of him getting banned? A year ago. He got banned a year ago. Mm -hmm. Let me give let me give you people some advice. Before you start saying something, examine it in your own head. Ask yourself, is this a stupid thing to say? Do I sound like an idiot? If the answer is yes, keep your mouth shut. And if you can't find the nearest fact, that will do the job. Believe it. That's great. That one that one had me crying. Go up. The car one. The you my YouTube setup. I usually save this kind of stuff for Patreon. Gotta go sick of got got so sick of people ruining a take. While walking in front of me, stop, go away, filming YouTube in progress. <laughs> yes, I have road rage. 38,000 people die on the road each year in the U.S. alone. I'm not going to duty G my way through operating a two-ton killing machine. Sorry if you hurt your feelings. <laughs> this is a solid point. Yeah, my partner's cat has been missing for 48 hours now. Time to get over it, chipmunk. <laughs> and so a lot of the times his tweets will like, uh, preface a video. Got it. Um, turns out he stole his partner's cat. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, but like, like he's so one that you probably would might have seen that went viral is like he tweeted about a vasectomy. He's mm -hmm. like, oh yeah, it's right there. That one. Scroll up. This one. Yes. Sometimes I wonder who. I wonder who wife is performing for. She did this after my mastectomy. Gee, honey, thanks for the $30 worth of 99 cent grocery crab, zero sugar ginger ale. You know me so well. I'm supposed to take a picture and post it, I presume, question mark. And it's just like stuff about like n no nuts and like. Nut or butter. Nut or butter, no Nutty more. Nutty buddy. So basically this dude's crazy, but he got banned and it's all characters. It's, yeah, it's just, it's just a character. There's he I think he has a podcast where he's like out of character, but I haven't watched it. Wait, does he have a podcast that he's out of character? And he has to pay the, for the Patreon, I believe. Oh, OK. okay. But uh, my viewers have told me that they, they've seen him on a podcast before where he's like normal. Oh, really? Mm hmm. I think wonder that's a good thing or a bad thing. Do you think do you think the parameter of him not being in character when he's on a podcast or an interview format ruins? Yeah. See, ruins it. That's the thing. He had a stand up show in LA yesterday, and I'm like, do I want to ruin this facade I have of him? The stand up show, I feel like, would have been more than more character based, too. Here's Dan Henschel podcast unlocked. What is this? What is that? Oh, it's Wix. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Dan Henschel podcast. There are two things that I want to No, it's definitely a character. Been a podcast in four weeks. God fucking damn it. It's definitely a character. So I want to ask you, so-called supporters, one question. Riddle me this. How is that supposed to make me feel? Answer me. How am I supposed <laughs> Bro. <laughs> okay. This is great. Uh, this is so funny. What does he talk about on this stuff? I don't even, I've never watched it. I'm supposed to feel valued in this relationship if you don't even lift a single finger to show me you care about me. I was sitting at the Thanksgiving table and I just started crying in front of everybody because I'm looking at all these goobers who are so happy talking about all the things they have to be thankful for in their great lives. And then it got to my turn and I was just kind of stammering because I realized I have nothing to be thankful for. <laughs> and I told everybody, I'm getting out of here. I'm not going to humiliate myself like this. I'm not going to sit here while you all stuff your face with shitty food and celebrate. <laughs> like So good. The podcast is just more character. Yeah. It's crazy. It's just like. I, it's just ramblings. He confuses me. Dude, it's, it's interesting. I, I, I want to know. Is he real? Is he fake? I'm obsessed. with I want to know why he got banned. I want to know. I really want to know why he got banned. What do you? What's your theory? I don't know. I don't. I've only seen a couple, like three seconds of each video. Dude, I don't know. Dude, he literally painted himself red. I just need to know, like, is this TikTok like page still up or is it gone? No, it's banned. Really? It says this page is banned. I want to know what the last video was. That's the issue: is that you can't see it when they ban you like that. Uh, why don't you look up what was Dan Henschel's last TikTok video? How did he do that to his face? What is that? <laughs> How does he get red makeup just to be wet? <laughs> like, what is this? It looks like he's a burn victim. <laughs> That's post getting lost in the woods. 
lore. <laughs> was that him getting attacked by the bear? That's that him it? after. <laughs> like, and so this is this is why I was so afraid of, of the cameo. Okay. Because I didn't know what character he'd whip out for it. For his cameos, he just does the blood shirt he did, thing. He did murder, char- murder character. Yeah. yeah. And he roasted my life. We should do a character. Okay, or, what, what character? Yours? I don't know. I'll do a murder character. What would your character be? Get into would, character right now. I'd be a character. Okay. I'll, okay. okay, you keep saying you're going to be a character. Fucking okay, be one. Okay, how about this? How about this? You do a character. You do a character. I'll do a character. We have 15 seconds to come up with it, and we all have to talk to each other in character. Okay, that's the best thing that's going to happen today. Yeah, okay? this is the con. This is what we're doing. Yes, this is it. We just have to come up with a character. You come up with a character. You come up with a character. I'll come up with a character that we talk to each other in character. Okay, because we've been watching Dan. We don't know why he's fucking banned, but we know it works. So we need to do this ourselves. Okay. So okay. okay. Do we discuss like? Should we talk about our characters? No. The question when we come back to reality is going to be uh, <laughs> top five favorite movies. Okay. Or top three favorite movies. I don't want it to be that long of a segment. But the deal is each one of us is going to play a character when we come back into this. Uh, okay. Okay. Ready? With the voice. Ready? You have to do a voice. And Fuck. Frogan, and you have to go rap. first. No, no, I don't no, want to go first. goes first, then rap, then I'll go first. No. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Well, you know what? This is actually your idea. What if you go second? Yeah. No, no, what if he goes first? I'm going to go no last. I'm going to go last because I, I have a I'm really good character. I'm not good at shit like this. I told you. I know. You, just I'm, do the goddamn character, Frogan. You have to think. You have to use your brain. I'm not a wonderful, beautiful actor like you are. Yeah, me neither. Yeah, he's not good at acting. That's why he doesn't have any jobs right now. Let's go ahead and do it. Come on. Actually, it's because SAG, after whatever the fuck, ruined his life. That's not true. That's not true. I wasn't, I wasn't. If I he wasn't, wasn't in it, was good enough, he wasn't in life. it. But he's not a fucking union buster. Okay, uh, okay. so he couldn't get a Who job. Who are you talking to? We're right here. Yeah, we're right here. <laughs> why, are you, why, are you, why are you trying to be his manager, dude? God Fuck over there. <laughs> okay, ready? Yeah. What the fuck, dude? Who are you talking to? They're not I'm listening to, to us. I'm talking to my my main your frame. constituents. Just fucking go. Do your character. Do, it, do a character right now. Go. I don't know what to do. Oh, that's good. Okay, ready? Yeah, yeah. Do your character. Yeah, fifteen seconds. Ready? I'm gonna I'm gonna count down from fifteen. Ready? Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I don't like holding peepees when they pee. It's not a character. That's, that's not just, a character. That's, that's just, just you, you whispering. That's you thinking about. That's not a character. That, that's just something that's just we you. just talked about. It, what if it's me, but not me? No, Why are you whispering? Dude, stop whispering. <laughs> you said you said do a voice. No, not not. That's not a voice. That's, that's not just a you voice. Whisper. Whisper. That's you <laughs> talking yourself as yourself. Okay, but what voice would you want me to fucking do? do you gotta come up with it. You gotta come up with your own voice. I came up with a whisper. That's not good enough. Yeah, you really came up with a whisper. Do a voice. Do any character. Any character. Anything. Do anything. <laughs> Pull it from your real life. If anything, you're a fucking content creator. Create. Pull it from your real life. Exper- yeah. Experiences you've seen other people yeah, in. Yeah, think about someone that really... You do Dan Henschel. Do fucking anything. Okay? Raph, you go first. Then Frogan. Okay. Ready? Okay, ready? Count me down. 10, 9, Oh, I thought the content eight. was for all of us. We're all going to do it together. The problem is you're okay, kicking it off. Okay, then why'd you put me on the fucking spot? Because I wanted you to because come up with your Because we wanted you to come up with a character because we knew you weren't going to do it. No, I knew she was... I wanted her to do it. Oh, yeah. I, I'm trying... I'm. I don't have a brain like that. What, what do you mean do you, you don't mean? have a brain? Everybody has a Everybody brain. Everybody has the same brain. I know you just, just have different a, wrinkles. It's just weird. Women have the same brain. My re- my brain yeah. is smooth in the creative part. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not at all. It's not. Okay, anyways. So here's the deal. Do the character. I'm counting down from 10. Yeah. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Go. It was your turn. Is it my turn? No, it was her turn. You I said I, go I, first. I, I, I then retracted. She just gaslit us into us going first. I <sighs> swear to God, do your... Raph? Yeah. I can't have a fucking 30-minute episode of a podcast be Frogan not doing a character. You, I, I need inspiration. I do, pull from your pull life. Pull from your own life. We're not going to tell you... Who who do you talk shit about? Just pull, just make fun of them. Yeah, I talk shit about of, a lot of people. Yeah. Oh, there you uh, go. There you go. You're a huge you huge database. Yeah, that's actually you have a really, binder that's full actually, of women. That's not a healthy it's good. Thing. That's really weird. A binder full of women. Yeah, that's really weird that you have that. But anyways, okay, All let's right. go. Ten, nine, nine eight. eight I'm seven. not even gonna count down. Three, two, one, and you're in character as <laughs> Frogan. Frogan's a character. I don't know what to fucking do. That's 
That's horrible. That's not, dude. You're bad at this. All right. I need a muse. Okay. Okay. Do. Okay, you. I'm go not around. your muse. Yeah, you. You can't steal from him. I'm not your muse. You're my muse. No, Capri's your muse. No, he's I'm not. not he's not muse. creative. You're my muse. I'm not a muse. I'm creative. Uncut jazz. I can be creative. Here, let me hear yours. Duh, this is Capri, <laughs> but I'm not Capri. I'm squishy hands. <laughs> I'm not doing this bit. No, do the bit. See, this is why you should have started. I didn't have the time like she did. She had an hour and a half. You had more time than all of us. Okay, I came up with squishy hands. Squishy hands is not a character. She's a guy with squishy hands. hands. You you can't come up with squishy hands because your hands are already fucking squishy. I hear what squishy hands is where I'm trying to You know why he wants to do squishy hands? Why? He wants to squeeze your titty. Yeah. Ew. My name's squishy hands. I thought we were going to do like real characters. Okay, I'll do a real character. Let me hear it. Hello, what's up? It's Capri. I'm not Capri. You can't be called Capri if you're going to do a character. I am, I am a, I'm Pinocchio. I am Pinocchio. And I never have ever. But, but my. Pe- this is so embarrassing. Okay. If the, okay. If, if it makes you feel so nervous. It makes you feel so nervous. If you're the fucking master. If you're the fucking master here, like, at it. trying to think of something and you guys are if, making me feel nervous. If you're nervous, the fucking master at it. The yeah, I've never said I was a master. Never said I was the master. You got on Frogan's case for not coming up with the character. I you didn't come up with the character. character. You just stole a character that's already existed. <laughs> it's my version of Pinocchio. It's my spin on okay, it. Okay, what would you do? I was going to do something like this. Okay, see, he fucking My name's everything. Margaret Johnson. That's not good either. Pinocchio, hi, my nice to meet you. My name's Pinocchio. Well, hello there, little wooden boa. How oh, you doing? My penis grows when I don't lie. Well, that's disgusting. You are. I know somebody who likes to hold it when you pee. <laughs> okay, me too. Her name's Frogan. Uh, yeah, Frogan. <laughs> I'm also, wait, hold on. I'm, I'm 35 in this situation. They're not making it weird. Then you're not a boy. Yeah, I'm not a boy. I'm a real man. You're a man now. Yes. Okay. A strong also, man. Also, Frogan, go ahead and do your character now, please, for the love oh, who's of God. Oh, who's this walking up next to us? Who are you? Who is it? Chet. I'm Chet Hanks. Chet Hanks is fucking <laughs> Tom Hanks' son. <laughs> And he doesn't sound like that. He sounds like a dis. Oh, wow. Go on. We up in the building. You know, I saw him before. Did you? <laughs> Me and Carter. He's a white boy summer. That's how Chet Hanks talks. Me and Carter were visiting LA. We don't we're... give a fuck, bro. <laughs> <laughs> don't care. She took Chet Hanks. <laughs> she took Chet Hanks. She took a person. <laughs> she took an actual real life person. <laughs> he picked Pinocchio. And you know what? It Pinocchio. is our fault. I My did, version. We did say pull from your real life, and she did have a story about <laughs> meeting Chet Hanks, but I never in a million years thought, oh, let me just pretend to be this person with the same name. <laughs> I don't, I told you, I'm not an actor. You don't have to be an actor to have creativity. Yeah, you gotta be creative. If I told you to paint something, what would you paint? Yeah, what would you paint? If you could paint anything. A, a wiener. A pee-pee wiener. What would, you, what would you paint? A worm. A wiener. Exactly. God fucking. You guys ruined Margaret. All Margaret right, Johnson. Let's move on to the next. Fucking I feel topic. like Margaret Johnson. Should I reset the cameras? I will. Yeah, reset the cameras because we're gonna talk about myth when you sit back down. I'm done with all. Ew! Don't put your foot on my foot. Why are you running away? With- I didn't put my foot on your foot. You stood up on me, you fucking Chet Hanks ass bitch. Sorry, that sounded aggressive. You can already feel this. I can feel the the. I don't know. I don't know what I feel. What do you feel? I don't feel confusion mostly. About what? About the wide. What does that look like? Is it recording? Yeah, 27 minutes. Why did it stop before? It was like, oh, uh, we have to, unable to grab memory card. We have to so it didn't reformat work? so you can save your images. And then I tried to do that and it didn't do it. So I have no idea what it recorded and what it didn't record. Did it get Chet Hanks? Chet Hanks just happened. So. Okay. Yes. Anyways, uh, let's talk about myth. Are we com- are we done with get him off my screen? <laughs> what you don't know? Like the it? story is I love him. So he got he so he's gone. He's gone, but but he just came back. He's collecting the coin off of his Patreon and cameo. Cameo. <laughs> Everybody has to scream on the count of three like that. Yeah, I'll okay, do you it. go first. Together. Okay, ready. <laughs> 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 That's a good one. 
have you ever seen those on TikTok where they're like people they're like your energy's off. I'm gonna go like yeah, this. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've seen I've seen these these videos of people. I just did a Jarvis Johnson thing. Did you see that? What did you see it? I did. What did you do? I totally did a Jarvis. What did you do? Where he like has like he's like remembering something or he is about to explain something. He does like this thing. I've seen things. Oh, he does do that. I didn't <sighs> notice that. Oh, I just did a Jarvisism. Ooh. He does. He, I've seen Ooh. things. I've seen things uh, of these videos of like w- w- mostly women going and getting like these like energy things over like zoom or like in person where like, it's just a woman holding her hand mostly over the uterus and then like moving it around. And the women are like this and they're like convulsing and like, and like doing things. I'm like, what the fuck is what going are you on watching? here? Where's to, a disconnect in people that there's like, a that lot of works. people who think that energy, I used to have an ex-girlfriend that I did this when we were, we were fighting and I'd be like, whoa, 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 and she'd freak out. But like, but I understand like that, like having a sense, I understand. What do you mean if I did this to you? Whoa, 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 I don't whoa, have whoa, it whoa. though. I don't have that power. You have the. What do you mean? I have the power. But like, if somebody is like right here and they're like about to touch me, I can feel like I know. No, they're no, about I'm talking to. about like they feel like there's. I'm doing energy. See that? I don't understand. That's that, what I'm though. saying. But like, it's these women. They're like laying down like this. Like they're mostly laying down, and then like some older woman. It's always an old woman is can I do over it to them you? and it's going like this, can I and do then it to they're you? like, uh, and they're mostly like around here. Yeah, and then you can, and then they just like. And then they're just like convulsing the women on the table. They're just like, ah, ah. Yeah, they have, they're like doing all that energy. stuff. Are they orgasming? I think it is. No, it's, there's it a, must be. There's a part, I did this, I did this a long time ago. There's a part of your brain. Yeah. That if it's bigger for some reason, I forgot what it was, but for some reason it's like the direct, it d- directly connects to like speaking in tongues and like feeling that energy shit. You yeah. actually, they actually like physically feel that shit. I don't think I'd fall for that. It's not. It's not falling for really. It's mostly like these. They they believe that it's really happening, or they can sense it, whatever. But it's it's weird for me yeah. to look at because I'm like, mommies. what is going on? And they mostly do it. They, the ones that confuse me the most, like if they're in person, they're doing it. I can kind of get that. That's like a connection. You can kind of feel that. Mm-hmm. A lot of the videos I saw were like over Zoom, and I'm like, how do you fucking over Zoom? <laughs> can I do it to you right now? Yeah. Let me see this. <laughs> Stop! 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 Why are you sitting on my foot? He needs this. He needs to rest. He needs to rest. (laughs) Yeah. How do you feel? Where's the aftercare in all of this? If anyone is, yeah, I can't, what do I need? <laughs> Aquaphor. <laughs> if anyone is sleeping right now, listening to this podcast, get fucked. Sorry, you I get ass. fucked, nerd. Um, I've seen those. Oh, pull up a uh, because uh, go go on. I'm sorry, pull this up really quick. Just type in, um, uh, dude. How how do I say this without sounding offensive? offensive? Type in African priest piano. Oh, interesting. Here's the thing. I saw kind of what you're describing, but it's like women having orgasms without being it's, touched. It's that. It's like that. And they're like, they become like disabled. They're like, they become like balls of people. It's like the vibe's so good. You're, never mind. The vibe, the vibe is good. I love when old women put their hand over. No, I've, only, I've seen men do it to women. It's weird. You no. say African pri- priest piano? Yeah, African pri- priest piano. Uh, dude, it's a video of a guy. It's, it, they're definitely like at a church. <laughs> this is it. This is it. This is it. <laughs> Play it back. Play it from the beginning. Dude, it's, like, dude it, it's so good. It's so good. I but I got hypnotized before. Did you? Yeah, I, did. I don't like it. Who did it work on you? you? Are you susceptible? It was it was a weird experience. It was at my senior party uh, in high school. I feel like everyone gets hypnotized at their senior party in high school. Who is hypnotizing you at, the, at your they senior hired party? They somebody. What'd they do? So I got picked. They made you see your favorite celebrity. You're telling me a Muslim. Well, did you go to Muslim high school? I went to, I mean, I went to a private school. I mean, I went to a public school. Oh, okay. I was going to say, but like in that community, hiring a hypnotist seems kind of like, 
against. It was fun though. I mean, I got hypnotized to see Christians. my favorite celebrity. But they're like, you know, like getting hypnotized. I feel like is for a lot of religions is kind of like a don't it's do taboo, that. Yeah, I don't know. It was so weird because I was I was like aware, but I felt like I couldn't control myself. I was crying. I'm like, why the fuck am I crying right now? Interesting. And the old man made me hug him. You got bleep it, bleep it. You got. Yeah, bleep, bleep it. it. Yeah, and he made another person go sit on another person's lap in our class. Yeah. This is not. You can't this do is that. Not, it's not okay. It was really Why weird. you all? Can I be honest with you? Every time you tell me a fucking story, it's always like very, very bad. The one I told him last night was a joke, kind of. What okay. Was a joke? But the thing is, you always tell me this. Bleep story. it. Don't don't include it. Okay. Well, we'll be the judge. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> no, okay. Hold on. Hold on. You. I want to finish my point. Okay. Right. You always tell me stories nonchalant that are like highly horrible. Like your entire life. Has been nothing but trauma, and you well, don't yell at her; she's gonna freak out. And you haven't had a therapist till like a week ago. I don't. I don't want to consider most a okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, not, <laughs> I mean, the the stuff I say just outside of my family life, I really wouldn't consider trauma, though. Yeah, because. You're you're not good at. Well, like, that might actually be healthy. It's not trauma; it's just life experience. No, it's not. That's not true. Like what? Okay, if it doesn't bother her, then it's not trauma. Okay, I'm sorry. It is kind of traumatic. Let me pretend to be the old man hypnotizing Frogan. Okay, do it. Hello there, kids. No, I hated that. Let's move on. But, like, I wouldn't consider it traumatic, and you're not even a believer. Was but he Muslim? No. Just some white guy? Yeah. God, what a freak. But, I mean, my school hired him. Hired him. I know. Freaks. Okay, but please do it right now. Tell us the story. I got hypnotized to see Tyson Ritter from the All-American Rejects. You got hypnotized to see him? Like, they're like, you're, I'm going to be your favorite celebrity. Do you think that When I snap my fingers or whatever. The thing is, me and my friend were fucking dying laughing. We were literally like, he made us like go like this in our laps. And we were bending down. We we're like, this is so fucking stupid. This is so fucking dumb. And then. And then you got preyed upon. Yeah. And then whenever it was my turn, I, was, I started crying. And I, I, he made me hug him. The All American Rejects guy? No, not Tyson Ritter. Tyson's my kid. The the hypnotist. The hypnotist made her believe that he was Tyson. Ritter. Yeah, even though I like I knew it wasn't him, but like I felt like I couldn't control myself. I feel like if I got hypnotized in my adulthood, that shit wouldn't work on me. My friend got hypnotized, and it was like he got abducted by aliens for years. He for was, years, he was like, he's yeah. He would like look at me. He's like, you don't understand. It was like during the senior thing. He's like, you don't understand. What are you guys it's... getting senior parties with hypnotists? <clears throat> I wasn't at it. I wasn't at it. I hate that dog. You hate that dog? He is he is literally the Dan Henschel of this hey. of this Relax. podcast right now. Relax. Let's all get hypnotized. Settle down. No, I won't do it. Why? Here's the Settle. deal. Number one, I saw Keem get hypnotized and he didn't even fuck it, didn't even phase him. But the thing is, you have to be susceptible to um to be hypnotized. There's like a you have to be agreeable, an agreeable personality. I'm you not of all anymore. people, yeah, I was gonna say that's that was during my fragile era, but I'm not fragile anymore. My friend basically came up to me and he was like, "Yeah, dude, that like I, I'm telling you, it's real. Like it fucked me up." I, I thought was it like, was I thought it was fucking hilarious. Yeah, but like when Keem had it happen to him, the guy told him what to do. Yeah, my guy didn't tell us to do anything. I think I, I posted it on Tumblr. I probably could find it right now. But then, like the girl like laid in his lap. That shit was weird, dude. I don't like hypnotizing. Yeah, but back like to that. back to the trauma thing. What do you consider I like things I've told you traumatic that I don't think are traumatic? That doesn't make sense, but you get what I mean. There was an episode that you guys can go back and watch where we go, Rogan, describe your favorite memory with your dad. And you're like, when he beat people up in public. It was funny, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was a funny experience. Like, I'm sorry. Well, what did you tell him yesterday that was kind of a joke? You can't put this in the podcast. Okay, we won't put it in the podcast. All right, welcome back, everybody. That was sorry, sorry that for that. Funny. Sorry for that one. But I'm not a victim. I, the thing is, like, I, you guys will believe me when I say this. I feel like I genuinely moved past most of my trauma in my life. Like, it does come up once in a while, but like, Raph, what? Back me up on this. No, it depends. I'm, I'm what are you gonna say? No, I, I you mean, know what okay, I'm gonna we're say. we're gonna get vulnerable. Like, cutting my dad out, and I haven't talked to him in six years, would definitely help me heal a lot of the shit I went through in life. Does it come up from time to time in like random situations? Sure, but I'm at a point where I know how to navigate it and I don't let it like make me break down and like die and like yeah. like it's I don't think that's the trauma that I'm talking about. I think that having that experience 
that's the only trauma I I have. No, though. but that's not. It's not even about trauma. It's like having those experiences. Uh, when you have those so young, it does hinder other aspects of your uh of your life. I'm just curious, like what? Um, yeah, like what? Like anything, like if you... No, I, I want a specific example. You want to be Dan Henschel's psychologist so bad. No, I don't want to be a psychologist. I'm just saying I'm that... I'm curious. Like, I'm saying that... Here's what I'm, I'm genuinely saying. When you have those experiences and you think that you've moved past them without the help of a professional, 99% of the time, you have not fully processed those experiences. I've been to therapy before, though. I, I understand, but I'm saying that like... I don't think the therapy that you've described has always been fucking awful. I mean, I had a long term therapist for a year about. No, oh, okay. Then maybe I'm wrong. I know. I just want a specific example so I could see what you're talking about. No, there's nothing specifically wrong with you. I'm just saying that, like. I, clearly, there is. I just want to know. There, uh, just be sure. We're not fighting on the I'm pot. Not, I'm not fighting it. I, I genuinely want to know. There's nothing, there's nothing wrong with you. Raph, make him say what he has to say. I have no idea what he wants to say. I can't make him say something I, I, i'm telling you be real I'm, I'm there's nothing to be real about the give a specific example i'm saying that if you have that kind of trauma as a kid like you it takes a long time it take one year of therapy is not enough i've done four years of therapy and i still need more therapy it's just that's what i'm saying i i, I just specifically said it one year of therapy to have that happen to you for 20 something years will fuck you up and you need more than one year you need more than one year of therapy because you cry more than anyone else I know. She doesn't cry in months. Everything. Yeah, it's true. And I've been happy and proud of you and you've been doing well. But I'm saying that like, I'm, but I also have issues. Everybody has issues. Everybody don't look at me confused. I'm also confused. I just don't. I we, just, no, no. I'm saying we should all go to therapy. We're all in therapy. I know. But the thing is. No, yeah. Hold on. Th this is why I'm upset. It took us so long for us to get you to go back to therapy. I'm sorry. The last two therapists I had were fucked up experiences yeah you know what i'm saying that's that's all i'm saying i'm saying go to therapy i'm in therapy i've been in therapy for yeah. a month now that's all i'm saying let's be real i started july 6th you've how many sessions but, have you had but let's be real uh i've had three from july actually that's pretty good that's pretty good that's not bad that's good job yeah and this i have isn't my a fourth slide one against... on tuesday no i just want to know what a specific example because you're saying this is what i'm saying i'm saying because you're like oh like clearly your trauma reflects in some things like what I, I just want to know. It's not, I'm not trying to fight. I'm just curious. You know what happens? You live for drama. You suck up drama and you live in it and you feel more comfortable in drama because you had a traumatic household and that's where you feel the most comfortable. You love drama and your whole family is always drama, 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 drama. I like drama that doesn't involve me like reality shows and no. shit like that. I don't like drama being in drama. Yeah, I like I like drama as well. You like drama? I like I like I like experiencing it from the outside. Yeah, I don't like being like, in it. I don't Broken's like drama. Like I don't like it. drama. But it, you cause so much. I don't. I don't cause it. You cause so much. Dude. I love Capri because he thinks he could like read you to like a fucking. No, team. I really don't know. I really don't know. It was just you. You kept pushing me, so I was like, I don't know what to say. I didn't push you. you, you I, didn't, <laughs> I, I didn't push him because he. Cause he <laughs> Raffy, I, I don't want. I don't want to put you on the spot, but correct me if I'm wrong. Didn't he say there are some things you do? Yeah, that, he did say that. So, I, so I'm just, I just want to know, like, he did say but, that. But, okay, what, she wants to know, like, what things I'm that she does specifically that you think is because of the trauma she's experienced in her. Well, not trauma. She doesn't think it's trauma. No, I, I mean, growing like my no, no, no. my I family life. Yeah, it was trauma, but other shit in life. Like, I, I think, I think the, I think the, I think the trauma is the problem because her perception of it is not traumatic for her but you are putting Thank yourself you. but you are putting yourself in her shoes and you're like if i was in that situation it'd be traumatic for me so you're really you're really kind of saying it's traumatic for you even though you weren't in that experience but you're like if i was in that experience i'm it'd sorry be she told me i'm not putting her on the pot to be she honest, told me some it, fucked up shit like it was fucking candy land and i'm literally driving i'm like what the fuck i mean I, to I told him about it too that was a traumatic. Did game. you go? What the fuck? I don't remember it. Is a what? lot of people's traumas. I just forget about. Okay. Uh, bleep it. Oh yeah, that was fucked. Yeah, yeah. it's fucked. Yeah. But yeah. I. I mean, it was traumatic. No, no. But... Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. What I'm trying to say is, l let me get back to what you were initially saying. What I was trying to say specifically. I don't know, dude. You're not being very demure. Not very mindful right now. <laughs> I just want to like. I'm just so curious because you said there are things you do that reflect. I think somebody that has I'm not point. Saying, it's not a specific fucking thing. I'm okay, saying. Okay, so that's the clarification person, we that's, needed. That's he doesn't have anything specific. I don't have anything specific. 
I literally, I'm getting, I'm, I don't have specific. Why are you grabbing your feet? I, I do I'm stuff. Stressed. Do you want to know why I have anxiety? Trauma. That's just how it happens. Why do people have depression? Why do people have anxiety? Trauma. It's all from Here's fucking the thing. trauma. The, the, the main thing that caused my trauma, I don't have contact with anymore. Not in my life. But it's still here. And it's still. It's still here. Sorry, here. The trauma. It's not about being in contact. The main thing that caused my trauma doesn't happen anymore, but it still affects me to this day. And I go to therapy all the time to make sure that I don't. And to be honest, I haven't even talked about my childhood and trauma yet. I mean, in therapy yet. If it's not affecting or it's not affecting and, her, I mean, we can't if, project. I mean, I'm, not, I'm not trying feel. to project it. I'm just saying no, that. I'm, like, not, I'm not saying it didn't have an impact on me. It did. But cutting out the main source of what caused that no. trauma and not being in contact with them for I've, six years at this point. No, I feel bad. Has allowed me to heal and has allowed me to work through things that I couldn't really work through whenever said person was in my life. So it allowed me to process. Like I used to be a very anxious person. I used to be a very depressed person. My anxiety at this point is very much under control. I would consider myself to be to be at this point in my life. It's pretty good. Um, my depression. I've been depressed my whole life. So it's like there. Yeah, but that. Why? Who really knows why, buddy? I don't know. I mean, like the shit that caught my trauma, but like there are other things that trigger depressive episodes now that aren't relative to. No, I know. I know. But no. Like a bad piece of chicken would. Yeah, exactly. No, I'm, I'm not attacking you. I mean, this is a good conversation. No, it's a good we're, conversation. We're, we're like, I'm, try I'm trying deep. to, and I'm not trying to attack you either. It's not a, per it's not a personal thing. I'm genuinely saying that, like, I think that most people's life experience, most people, uh, most people do things in their adult life because of things that happened in their childhood. Not, not, it's not, that's not a hundred percent, right? That's not like, not everyone's like that. Right. But I'm saying that like, I like do things. I have like anxieties because of things in my childhood. Like, the whole like uh uh what's it called like stuff about OCD and stuff. Mm -hmm. I didn't get that until my grandfather died, and yeah. like he got cancer, and he died within three months, uh two months of getting cancer, and he was like, he was like my other dad. So when he died, it like fucked me up like really bad, and then I was like, oh shit, like people can die. Yeah, you know. So and it was like a lot of people are like, oh it's your grandparents. I'm like it's Arab grandparents, dude. Like we're I'm really mm -hmm. I was. I lived with him three months out of the year. So that fucked me up. It fucked up my dad so bad he didn't work for a year. So like he was like, we were like eating shit monetarily, I remember. So that's like something that like I still have to this day. Now, am I still traumatized from my grandfather? No, but I have anxiety now that was triggered through him. And now my brain is like in a loop, but it has nothing to do with what happened. You know what I'm saying? No, I mean, I could give you an, an example of trauma I had. I, I did not trust men. Did not want to be in a relationship. Did not want to like even. Sorry, I don't like yeah, men see, either, dude. Period. So, I mean, yeah, that was. Why well, a lesbian? You still, you still are a little bit weird, but you also have had <laughs> re-triggers of that trauma. You've had really bad experiences with men. I want to consider that I, they're. Weird. I'm gonna be real. Dude, that they're also weird. <laughs> they're. I would consider it. I would consider it funny. <laughs> they are funny. They're especially really, to me. Okay, they're really funny to us, but I'm like, damn, dude, that's fucking crazy. And you're I'd like, isn't it funny? I'm like, no. I consider it funny because like I've been through fucking worse in my life. I'm like, dude. Oh, this, I know. This shit like that has been funny. But yeah, like, I mean, for the longest time I didn't trust men. I didn't want to be near them. I just now you're in a podcast with two dudes. Yeah, so you should you should feel honored that I even trust you. Oh, do I get one? Yeah, you get one too. And this is why I don't trust men. What did I say to you when I first met you? I said, gay. No, I didn't say gay. <laughs> my, hand, my hand is so red. Sorry. But no, like I said, like going to therapy and like allowing myself to reflect and shit, I was just like, I can't believe I'm saying this in public. Not all men are bad. <gasps> Whoa. Not all men are dude, bad rise up dude not all men are amon but like all men are bad amon. yeah they are bad amon but like not they're all bad. of them they're bad just it's a couple like, bad like, apples yeah it's like maybe i don't hate all men i wouldn't classify myself as a good man i think i'm a piece of shit no you are a piece of shit i know but i wouldn't consider you an abusive piece of shit eh, borderline Sometimes. <laughs> you know what i'm glad he's so self-aware <laughs> 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 
I think the number one thing about people <laughs> emotionally abusive Capri. <laughs> I think the number one thing about there's people, a reason why I don't tell Capri what's going on in my life. <laughs> <There's> a, <laughs> You what? Know, you I'm never not an tell open book. me. Huh? You never tell me anything. I don't tell you anything. It makes me mad. Yeah, you're because you're an abusive piece of shit. I'm not an abu- That's not You'll even, use it against me. I will never use that you against used you. It, you've used it against me. Have I used anything against you? Yeah. What? I can't tell you because then you'll use it again. I'll use it Out of malice. Time. Out of malice. <laughs> what if I, am I going to get canceled from this? No, why would you get canceled? It, it was a very raw, real conversation that... No, no, not from this conversation. Fuck this conversation. I'm saying from you guys. It was a joke. No. I just don't was... cross us. Okay. Don't cross me. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got on me? <laughs> a lot. Dude, you're, you're, you're really? done. Really? Yeah, what done. do I got? What do you got? You're done. What, what do, do you got, got on me? You're getting there, buddy. What do you Both mean? You I'm, I'm an open fucking book. Oof. What? What? I mean, I didn't see you. Uh, shivers. Was me saying I'm an open book... Like, I want to. No, can my can I cancel was, the both of you? On my like hair, so I felt it on my skin. I took you guys to a concert yesterday, and you guys didn't even have fun. He wants us to be miserable so fucking bad, dude. We weren't miserable. Did you guys had the vibes in that place were fucked. That's what I knew it. You weren't saying it out loud. We, we did, did say, say it, it out loud, loud. because the we, vibes were guys, weird. Imagine, the vibes were weird. Here, were you very walk weird. Into a, I've never been to a concert. Well, I know, I've never been to a concert that had like. Like a, a wide range, like there was no particular like demographic. Yeah, I and didn't then it. also there was like people who brought their kids. Yeah, it was weird. And I was like, I don't want to be in a place where I can drink and then have kids around. But me. it wasn't a concert that you could have kids at because it was like a bar with a stage, and they still brought kids. That was weird. And I was like, this seems like wrong. Maybe they're maybe the kids are like you know the workers' kids or like the no, promoters' no, kids. No, no, dude. It was really. It was just weird. The music was the music. It was fine. I didn't understand a word that the, anybody was saying. The music? Yeah. It was cool, though. Uh, like, the first band, Mom Malarkey, who was there, like, I was like, okay, cool. Like, it's I didn't understand cool. a word they fucking said. I was I very hyped. Word. I was very hyped that they were donating to Heal Palestine. Yeah. Which I thought was crazy because nobody really, like, it's just the Steve. And then I look at Frogan and Frogan goes, at this point, everybody should be pro-Gaza, which is very true. It's true. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not going to gargle the balls. Oh, I'm sorry. She loves saying gargle the balls because, of. She okay, loves let, it. Give me a new thing to say then. I don't want to suck. I don't want to hold the, the weenie. I don't want to hold you the need weenie to say something while that's not going to get us like, demonetized. Yeah, we're, I don't want to hold it this month. Are we okay. allowed to say that? Bleep that out. Yeah. Bleep that out. I'm we're, not, we're, we I'm actually fine. can. Okay, here. I have something I can say. I'm not going to praise somebody for doing the bare minimum. <laughs> okay, well, I'm not going to hit you. Jeez. There's a trauma. There's it's trauma. back. We found it. If somebody moves at you fast. You're not scared of me. <laughs> but <laughs> if somebody moves at you fast, like, listen. Why was I not scared? If somebody moves at you fast, unwarranted from the corner of my eye, you ask me to make me flinch. If I'm looking at you and you're like trying to punch, like throw a punch at me, I, I'm not going to flinch. Like Myth did it to me before. Myth did that to you? Yeah, he literally Wait, sh- Myth abuse you? No, no. Myth hit you? He shadow boxed me. Wait, Myth hit you? He shadow boxed Wait, me. Nobody can hear me. Say that again. Myth hit you? No, he shadow boxed me. I can't believe he hit you and then he and then he and then he quit. Like if you if you were to like sh- throw a punch at me, Arab punch at me right now, I would not flinch. An Arab punch at you? What's an Arab air punch? punch? Here's a grenade. Yeah. Throw it. What? I won't flinch. Well, you're because you're expecting me to punch exactly. you. Exactly. If I'm looking at yeah. you, you see exactly. Yeah, good. But what if I came from here? Yeah, see, you're expecting it. Yeah, if I'm not expecting it, any any normal person will flinch. Even you go like. But I also flinch if I'm looking at you and you raise your fist at me. <laughs> I heard that crack, yeah. That's my elbow. Yeah. Don't fight me. The ghosts are protecting me. Put you in an arm bar. The ghouls. The ghouls are protecting me. See, look, he didn't even flinch. I did. <laughs> Shut <laughs> up. I, I internalized it a little bit. Because here's the thing. Whenever I, I punch them, whenever they told me to punch them, they make fun of my punches. Yeah, you hit like a fucking Roblox character. You do hit like a Roblox character. The dress to impress. Anyways, we went and saw... Wait, hold on. What? Yeah, who did we see? We saw Wild Nothing. Yeah, it was and awful. It was really cool. A whole lot of nothing. <laughs> Dude, even there was they were like, we've been performing here for 10 years. And I was like looking around. I was like, there's like 10 people here. Dude, it's it's a sick band, though. I love Wild Nothing. What, one of my favorites. what fucked up the vibe for me was like. 
Also, they also the the place. What wasn't done? Oh, sorry. What fucked up the vibe for you? Like we walked in, it was just silent. That thank you. That's what I was actually going to say. That was too. the one weird thing about it. We walked in and there was all these people surrounding the stage, but there was nothing on. It was and silent. also the, they didn't start playing till an hour later. Yeah, like the no, opener start- opener came on an hour later. Yeah, they that's didn't- normal. I, I thought so. Usually when they say the door the show starts at seven, I thought the doors would be at six. Yeah. But that, I think so they the meant doors the doors open at seven. So then the show started at eight, which yeah. ma- it makes sense. But I'm that just makes like, sense. But I was I was ready for them to be like, oh, we're starting at seven. We'll be done by the, they didn't come on until nine. Yeah, nine fifteen. Um, I predicted that yeah. shit. And then we got bulgogi beef. I had a great time. They were very good. I they sound exactly like they were music. pretty cool. Yeah, I, really I can't. Liked I like them. I just didn't understand a word they were saying. Yeah, and also I had, I felt like I had so much energy in me, but I couldn't release it. Because not, was, nobody else was vibing the same. They were not vibing. The people in the crowd were just kind of standing there. Yeah, swaying and like standing. And nobody, only one person I saw was like jumping and dancing. And Lala I was like, Palooza, oh. I watched them play it. Like I watched a video of it and people were going off. And it really? was like, it looked cooler. I love concerts where I can like fucking move. It was a bad, yeah. it was just a bad vibe. The people were weird. It, I didn't understand. I was like, people are asking, I'm like, what's the, what's the audience? I'm like, I saw them at Lollapalooza with a bunch of young people. This was like weird weird it was like oc old people it was weird dude it was really weird it was fun though good for them though yeah at del taco after and i woke up in the middle of the night dying (laughs) i can't have fried food anymore my body cannot talking don't interrupt her thank you i can't synthesize (laughs) fried food can i get him get your ass no get a little cone head no he hasn't been on the podcast but yeah i was talking about me flinching relax if i'm not expecting it i'm not gonna flinch and I brought up, and then I brought up Myth because Myth shadow boxed me before, okay. right after his uh, creator clash too. And I didn't flinch; I just stood there. Let me see. How about that? She's going down. Bro, can I say for the record, <laughs> where my fucking boxing gloves? Let's go, bitch. Round of applause for the shallots. Myth, 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 Myth. <laughs> He's Jesus so Christ. Christ. Myth, what are you messed up and hit hey, it? Stop. Hey, hey, oh do God. this once, and he can pay you for the rest of your life. Just do it. <laughs> Yeah, he's good, <laughs> this is why he quit. This is why he quit because he right, abused Frogan. Let's talk about No, d- don't say that. Did he beat you? Myth beat you. The Look. allegations are coming out. That's the title of this YouTube video. The allegations. Me- Myth. Myth beat the allegations against Myth. He's good. Yeah, see? He's good. I didn't, the he's moral good. Is, he's good I didn't fucking flinch. Okay, let's talk about Myth, though. Myth's going to quit. Hold on. Um, I miss Myth. Myth was one of my favorite, favorite content I creators miss him already. ever. Um, he, I haven't. Yeah. No, go ahead. No, no I was ahead, just gonna go say. Ahead. I was just gonna say. I haven't seen him in a while. Yeah, because YouTube's live stream, like AI, what is it called? Something like that. It, it, it's not accessible to people. Whenever you're like trying to find a live channel on YouTube, so like, it was hard to navigate. To be honest, whenever he was on Twitch, I watched that motherfucker every goddamn morning. I was watching um Halo, Fortnite, whatever FPS he was playing. But then as soon as you switched to YouTube, it got harder because I literally did not know how to fucking work it. But he posted a 12-minute video talking about, you know, his YouTube contract is done. It was a two-year contract. And he is just taking this time to... It was a, a closing of a chapter for him. Because obviously he got into content creation and, like, the fame very, very young. He was, like, 16, 17 years old. He's, like, 26 now, right? 20... I don't know. He's, like, young. He, he said he was 20, older, and I thought he was younger than he said. He's, t- I think, 25, 24, 25. No, I think um, he was like 26, 27. He's not that old. He he's he's not video. my age. I'm going to Google it. Keep going. Keep going. Um, But yeah, so he said, you know, he wants to take, um, what the fuck is that word? A Sabbatical. Indefinite break uh, from content creation so he can like plan a comeback and like basically become a new creator outside of like the gaming because uh, the, his introduction to uh, other streamers and like things outside of gaming was like shit camp with a cutie and everybody else mm-hmm. uh, which is how i found him as a streamer i didn't know who he was before um so he wants to like focus on more stuff like that like outside of the gaming space um and i mean i've talked to him before about ideas he had uh pre-quitting and i think i mean he's genuinely such a funny content creator i think whatever he comes back with is gonna be good yeah he's 25 He's 25. Also, I've moved up the ranks on famous birthdays. I'm 18,000 now. <laughs> Dude, when I first started making content, I was 50,000. Now I'm 18. But the thing about myth is, uh, I'm sorry. I just thought I saw myth and then it, it showed my name because it like served it to me. And I was like, what am I at? Like, what am I at right now? 
pretty good. It's not bad. Anyways, the deal about Myth is that um, I fucking love that guy's career trajectory. He started to do stuff where he was like helping out other creators for a while. That's where he was like, he made a video like, hey, I'm going to make content that helps out other creators. But I think that that's like also taxing on your spirit. And this is just like not the time to do that kind of content. Because like, no, no, I'm, not laughing, I'm not laughing at that. I just had a thought about one thing that. What? I don't know if we should include this. One time he was talking about his like FPS stats and how he's like in the top like 0.1%. I was like, why aren't you in the 0.01%? He's like, I hope somebody rips your scarf off and chokes you with it. <laughs> <laughs> I, was in, I was in the top 1%. That's don't in, don't include that. No, no, it's funny. It's funny. It's, it's funny. funny. It, yeah. it, but it had me crying because he said so. He, Myth and I are from the same city. Yeah. Uh, and he was talking about how he saw hijabi get in a fight at his high school, and the girl ripped her scarf off and choked her with it. <laughs> That's really funny. It's horrible. <laughs> Awful. But in my head, I'm like, dude, if somebody did that to me, I wouldn't be able to fight. I'd be like, I'd be too like, all right. I'd be like, it's over. Fight's over. I want to see that motherfucker come back and have like a hundred thousand people watching him. He deserves it. I think taking a break right now is a smart idea, especially for the state of content that we're in right mm -hmm. now. Content sucks right now. It's Content's really, bad. really bad. It's all allegations and allegations. And that, fucking that trauma content. dumping. Yeah. Trauma. And it's just, it's just like, you know, cause it's because these creators have been around for so long. It's at that point now where they're like doing reflections or whatever. And so they're trauma dumping a lot, which is fine. You're allowed to, but like, who trauma dumped? I was I was joking because I was just talking about the whole trauma dump part before that. You know? I actually don't know who's trauma dumping. Nobody's trauma dumping. So you, just, you just made stuff up about trauma dumping? Yeah, sometimes I do that. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, I, sometimes I do that to, to have a through line of conversation with somebody. Because then they provide the information and I'll be like, oh yeah, yeah. And That's, then tell me a little bit more about actor, that. You're a good actor, buddy. It's not an acting. It's I'm interviewing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm do you ever wonder for being an actor being your friend yeah no i do all the time but then i look i wouldn't be i wouldn't be i wouldn't be your friend for four years if i was acting can i be honest he can't act worth shit if he's pretending to be my friend because he always looks at me like he doesn't want to ever speak to me again because i don't <laughs> 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 because you say some shit that i'm like dude you know what it is it's because you said something and i'm like we've talked about this you don't realize it but we've talked about it for an hour at that point yeah but you bring it up like it's a new topic yeah i do yeah so I'm like, dude, I got <laughs> I'm like, dude, I we, we literally for an hour have had the same conversation with the same premise of the conversation. I get yelled at for being neurodivergent on this podcast. And I want to say that publicly right now. So he does. I don't get in trouble. He does. Yeah. I fucking yell at him. If, okay, here's the thing. I'm airing, I'm airing out this fucking dirty laundry and I'm sorry, Raph. What? Why is it my, is it, am I involved in the dirty laundry? Yeah. Why I'm, you, I'm defending you. I don't want, I don't know yeah, if I want to be like defended. What, yeah, what's the, what's, it's, it's, what's the laundry? Whenever Raph is talking to Capri, Capri will literally start doing something else and start ignoring him. And then uh, Raph will be like, Capri, and he won't answer. And I'm like, you fucking stupid dumb bitch. He's talking to you. And then I'm I, a bad person. Can I explain? Can I explain what my what goes through my yeah, head? Yeah, you're an ableist. I don't care. Like, call, <laughs> call me fucking call me fucking ableist. If if you if you're at a point where you're ignoring somebody while they're talking to you, so here's but the I deal. don't think it's I don't, it's not he's not ignoring me. Can he's I, just can he's I just actually tell you out? Can I tell you actually what goes on in my head? I I tried to explain it to people for years, and I was like, oh, sorry, like I didn't mean to, but like that's not a really good way to describe it. Genuinely, when you have ADD, you do not hear them talking. I, I do not hear Raph. My brain just turns off but my he's, ears. You're looking at him Dude, and he's talking I want to you. you. I want you to do me a favor. Go to my dad while he's on the computer. Walk this close to his face. I've done it a thousand times. I mean, my dad, my dad had ADHD too. ADD but or whatever. He does not hear you. I can scream at my dad. There's a bomb about to hit the house. Oh, you need to believe that. I've done that to my dad, but he doesn't hear me either. Okay, your dad's deaf. He doesn't but, have ADD. But what's your excuse whenever oh, you, fuck, you're, you're, right. you're, he's talking to you, you're looking at him, and then you just start doing something I, else. He's not I'm looking not at listening. me. He's looking through me. I'm, I'm not there. Him. I'm not listening. It's not I've that. Been, I've, listen, I've known Capri for four years. I know how it goes. You know? Well, I hate it. It doesn't really bother me so it, much, it, but it, it does annoy me when I'm like, come me. on. It, look, here's the deal. There, there's not an excuse. It's not cool to you guys. Like, I can't just be like, I'm sorry, I have ADD. You guys have to suck it up. But also, like, there's a, there's a middle ground, right? There's a middle ground. Like I'm trying my best and I have to act. It's like a fucking, sh it's like a car and there's someone driving and I'm in the back seat and I have to jump in the front and be like, Hey, Raph's talking. And then I'm like punching the guy. That's, that's how I feel in my head. He got mad at me for calling it out the other day. You did snap at her. Yeah. Because 
because I was literally in the middle of doing something and you yelled at me over Raph and I was like, okay, I'm sorry. Right. Don't fucking cry. All right. Get over it. It, 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 it just blew my fucking mind. I'm like, he's literally talking to you. You were looking at but him I'm, and then you I'm started doing something else. I'm, and I'm just like, I'm like, am I losing my mind here? I genuinely don't hear it. Sorry, I'm normal. Sweetie, you're not normal. I'm sorry, I don't have the mental illness that makes me ignore people. <laughs> God, what a great mental illness to have, huh? It's pretty good. Yeah, what a good one to yeah, have. I dude, have the mental illness that your makes you- Your mutant power is just ignoring it people. So, <laughs> yeah, it was really cool. It's even better when women talk. I have the mental illness that makes me remember too many things. Did you hear something? I heard something, but I don't think it was a camera. Is it a mouse? <gasps> yeah, Allah, I'd cry. Also, we have a lot of new viewers now. These are jokes. You know what's not a joke? <laughs> <laughs> we did the we did the if you move your gay bit. And then someone commented, like, I'm sorry, is being gay in 2024 a joke to you? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. And I was like, I was on set. I was on set for something. NDA can't talk about it. I was on set for something and I one the person was standing next to me and he he was talking about how, you know, he used to like lo like his coming out story. Right. Yeah. And I looked at him dead in his eyes. I was like, it's pretty gay that you love the women. Never met this guy <laughs> in my life. Wait, did you see that like in the recording? Yeah. Oh, my I think, God. Hopefully they got it. Hopefully they got it. I'm like it's, it's rare. It's, it's <laughs> the gayest thing is to love a woman. And so, I mean, how'd it go? <laughs> he laughed. We had a good time. Good. You know what? Looked at me. He's like, oh my God. <laughs> it was. Raph is going to be a star. I'm not going to be a star. star. If anything, people are going to be like, God, this guy's fucking depressed. Yeah, I, I will. I'm going to. Yeah. It's bad. I know. Especially on the finance part, it's bad. We need to uplift oh, you. It's bad. Wait, hold on. I'm sorry. Bleep. And NDA, we can't talk about what it is, but we can talk about the parameters. Of I it. may have leaked all of it on my. Okay, it doesn't matter. Here's the deal. Mm -hmm. Question. I'll just blame Dom for that, not me. Yeah, no, you, yeah, it wasn't you. It, it genuinely wasn't you. Uh, question: Did they make you show each other bank accounts? No, thank God. But did they question you on how much was in your bank account? Not, not directly in my bank account, but how much she make a year. And to be fair, with all of you, I only make maybe thirty thousand dollars a year. My fingers are stuck. I think you make more fingers than that. are definitely stuck. No, I really only make thirty thousand dollars. Really? Year. Yeah, like a consecutive thirty thousand. And I don't make I don't make any money anywhere else. Twitch. Sometimes, it's it's up in the air. And if I'm lucky, it's maybe, maybe, on average three through four hundred dollars on Twitch. So technically, if we really want to be like fair, I make like thirty five thousand dollars a year. We gotta get your money up. See. Yeah. The most I've ever made from Twitch in a year. 50,000. 60? Bleep it. Jesus. The most I've ever made in content creation was 60,000. You can play it, put that in. Bleep Last it. year, I made about. Bleep it. You can put this in. This year, I've only made 17,000. <laughs> this year, I don't even want to fucking look at what I made so far. <laughs> Yeah, it's fucking bad, dude. Yeah. I think content creation is dying. I think live stream content creation is dying because it's not getting pushed by the people who own the companies. The mm. solution. Huh. Monkey pox pandemic. What about? Oh, no. For you guys. <laughs> oh, yeah. For all of us. If we hit, got hit with another pandemic, we'd be, we'd be great. We're almost there. Because it's not, it's not, but they already have a vaccine for that one. They do already have a vaccine. They do, that. but people are like anti vax. They're like, oh, why the fuck would I get a small box vaccine that was developed in the fucking 80s? Because it's so old. They don't give a fuck. They're stupid as hell. Also, they're smallpox vaccine was the er the first vaccine ever known to man. Yeah, you think they're going to be okay with that shit? Do you think <laughs> that myth has smallpox and that's why he left? Yes. <laughs> I think we're mixing these topics, but I agree. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, bro. I'm just saying we need another pandemic. We need another pandemic uh, to bring no, our I, numbers well, up. I wanted to bleep it during the pandemic. So no, we wouldn't be able to hang out and go do stuff. We would be fine, actually, because we're in we're just, just closed environments. You and me. Think about it. What about them? Keep them home. Would you rather hang out with your family or hang out with me? 
No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that and we'd be fine. It, you and I would be on VR the entire time. We could do VR chat. Do you know what I did during COVID? What? I played TTT. It's called Trouble in Terrorist Town. And I played it on a Roblox mod. <laughs> and I used to go and play VR by myself for like eight hours. And I would hang out in VR. And it was this game where every, it's really cool. It's actually a sick game. Everybody has guns, but only two are the terrorists. And they have to kill the other people who are not the terrorists. But you don't know who the terrorist is until they start shooting you. Right. Can I be dramatic? Yes. Uh, no, continue story. It's relative to terrorists, so. Okay, that's cool. So anyways, the deal is I played that for like eight hours a day. Great time. Very sad. Okay. This way, you get me in trouble. Please don't do it this week. I need a break. It so blows my mind that 9-11 was done with box cutters. I think about that sometimes. Can I be completely honest with you? Mm -hmm. You've said it every episode. No, I haven't. Yes, you have. No, no. I haven't. Draftster, pull it up. Draftster, this is going to be a lot of work for you. Yeah, because it doesn't happen. I've said, I probably said can it once you, or twice before. Can you go to, through every... You know what? Let's make the viewers do it. Yeah, viewers, We have some viewers going it. back from the beginning. Every time you hear Frogan mention the box cutter thing, I want you to keep a count for us. But it just blows my mind. But it, I don't bring it up that often. I only bring it up... <laughs> I don't. I'm you bring it up a lot. I, Here's the deal. I bring it up Here's a lot only within context. Here's the deal. <laughs> you bring it up a lot. We have to talk about something really important, but we have to do it on the Patreon, and we have to end the episode right now to talk about it. Why? What is it? Oh wait. I have. To we talk have to you a about live on show on Friday. What's the date on Friday? August. You just have to be a member. You have to be a member uh, on Patreon, and you'll get access. And if for some reason there's members here on YouTube, then you can join it there either. On Friday, August 23rd at 7 p.m. Pacific, we are doing a live stream for our members. You can subscribe to us via Patreon or our new memberships on YouTube. All prices are the same. Please, so the plan... Patreon us. We need this. We need this. The plan is to do it, I think, within the Discord. Yeah. Right? So you have to be a member of the Discord. So you just do five... Yeah. We'll figure that we'll out. We'll figure, figure that out. out. We'll make an announcement for you guys somehow on Twitter or, and in the Discord and on Instagram. We'll let you guys know how to watch it if you're a member specifically. Um, that can, but we are doing that. That okay. includes the free version of this episode. The rest of the episode will be behind the paywall. And if you are not a broke bitch, then you can afford it. And also the comments. Why'd you look at me, dude? Because you told me you make $30,000 a year. I can't afford cringe. it. So I anyways, can't you can't afford it. Afford it's it. bad. So anyways, the deal is... We should, uh, what we should we do? Oh, the comment for this week is I yeah. ADD. Yeah. I ADD. <laughs> you did. Just ADD. Yeah. Comment down below ADD. Yeah. Yeah. What, Frogan? What? Nothing. Why do you look upset? Frogan's grabbing her Are crotch and looking weird. Raff at broke us. Bitch. It was a joke. Grabbing Whoa! Whoa! Grabbing What's, my leg. The worst, oh. the worst thing about Why the, I, the leg bones connected to the, the worst, the worst vagina thing, bone. The worst thing about the rafting is yeah. knowing who else was there. I, I shit you not. I was the lowest. I know you were. Yeah. Because you know what the poverty rate here is? What eighty thousand a year? You I might not have a home anymore. No, you're living in LA. You're doing great. I am. I survived a year here. Yeah. And, that's actually and, pretty good. This is your first year in LA. Yeah. They yeah. said that if you survive your first year, that's what you were told. If you survive one year in LA, you're I'm good. good. And you did it. I so did you it. should be proud of yourself. I am. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Did you believe him when he said that? I did until he did the weird pigeon thing. I'm proud of you. And he did it again. Do you believe me when I say it? Yeah. I'm proud of both of you guys. Yeah, you've never been poor. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Honestly, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I don't believe you for saying you're proud of me because at this point in my life, I have nothing to be proud of currently. Well, you don't have to be anything to be proud of, but he can be proud of you for whatever reason. Don't put that shit on me, Ricky Bobby. You That's... don't put that evil on me. I'm not putting Talladega, it on you. Talladega Nights. That concludes this week's episode. Bye. All right. Well, I guess I'll just show my asshole then. You need to start showing your asshole. So we then... have to start being provocative. What's that? Sure. Provocative? Sure. It gets the people going. Sure.